Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of 365 Days as a Freelancer. In this series, I'm going to make a new video every single day for the next 364 days, because this is the first video, about how to start your own freelancing business in IT, exactly what you need to do to get off the ground running, how to get clients, follow up steps on every single component of how to actually keep that business running. And I can guarantee you that if you follow along with each and every step in this series, by the end of 2023, you will have a successful freelancing business. It is really as simple as following the steps in this series to find success in your own freelancing business. I'm going to go through various different ways of advertising and doing client outreach, how to promote yourself online professionally and actually build like a, a client base. This is something I'm, I'm actually like really excited about. I've been thinking about this for about the last month now since having the first idea of making this series. And ever since I, I sort of thought about it. I'm like man this is such a cool idea I don't think it's ever been done where someone has said like this is how you run a business this is how I've created my own freelancing businesses over the years and how I've grown them into success I think it's it's quite important to use this series as an accountability partner so of course there's other steps you can do in between and I would of course recommend doing as much as possible. But if you follow these minimum, this baseline of things that you should do to start your own business, then you will absolutely find success. I can guarantee it because I've done this before. <laughs> I've done it a couple of times actually. Some of you may know that my first IT business was way, way back in 2007. Was it 2008? Might have been 2008. Anyway, I had this business for roughly four years. When I sold the business, I had a few clients that I had signed up on monthly recurring maintenance packages, and some of them were actually pretty big. And I used that money to buy my first property. This is quite literally my secrets to success in how I've built businesses over the years. Building businesses for me is, is kind of like a hobby these days. I, I do it too often. Some of them work, some of them don't. An example of one that didn't work is one of the more recent ones, which was called Perfect Monday. It was a clothing label that I tried to build up from scratch and make designs for and source my own clothes, uh, fabrics ethically. And I was actually like hand making those clothes. If I had tried harder and like kept going at that business, I probably could have found success. But it doesn't really fit in with what I want to achieve as a goal, which was to be able to travel the world and not have to worry so much about where I am, which I couldn't really do with that kind of business because it doesn't really work like that. Like I, I would have to send the clothes to wherever I was at that particular time to then make the clothes or get someone else to make it and lose bulk profit out of it. And it just wasn't worth it in the end. But some businesses like that first business did sell for a profit. And while I was running it, it was making a profit. I was actually earning myself a pretty decent wage. Keep in mind that those wages that I started off with back then did not amount to what I make now per hour doing contracting. But this is sort of designed to go hand in hand with your day job or potentially you're working as a contractor at the moment or hoping to get into contracting. And this is the kind of business as far as like freelancing goes that could bring in some additional money or at least give you a potential self-created investment that you can sell off later like I did with my first IT freelancing business. So make sure you turn on the notifications for this channel because each and every day at 8 a.m. Brisbane time, there's going to be a new video released on what you should do for that day as a minimum to get your business rolling. The way I've structured it is the first couple of months is going to be about business building defining your services, figuring out the kind of advertising that's going to work for your model, and then actually going out and doing those steps. The nine months after that is going to be building on the success that you find, and then actually just like keeping on going, like a little bit of motivation thrown in here, some actual fun tasks for you to do that should help to propel you into success and you know go to the moon maybe not the moon but i mean if you shoot for the moon you might hit a star somewhere in between who knows the point here is that this is going to be fun it's a fun little hobby idea that could potentially create some real revenue for you and if it doesn't work out at least you'll have learned something so i'll see you all on the next 
364 days worth of videos. Smash subscribe, hit like, comment below if you have any questions or any recommendations for content you would like to be thrown into here. I've got around four to six months-ish worth of content written out already. I've got literally like each and every day planned out of what that task for that day needs to be. But if you have some recommendations, I can always slot some stuff in there and you know, change things up. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pumped. I'm, I'm so excited to see so many people jump on board this idea and actually build their own freelancing business. I really hope to see some success out of this. I wanna hear some awesome success stories. I wanna create like a little community around these videos as well. So jump on into my Discord server and if you have any questions on the daily tasks or anything else, cybersecurity, IT related, hop on in there, ask your questions. And yeah, let's get out there and kick some ass guys. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.